Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video we're going to be building another bird box, but it isn't like the bird box I built in the last video about bird boxes. This one is where a valley comes down, as you can see right here, and you don't have a straight overhang to go off of. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This one that I built in the other bird box video was like this. So you just have one overhang and there's no valley coming down, and that one's way less complicated. So this one takes a little more time and patience and you're gonna need some kind of screws to uh, anchor the bird box inside of the house. So if you're new to this channel, my name's Josh. This channel's all about building your own house, saving a ton of money. So be sure to subscribe and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get up on this ladder and then I'm gonna go take a square off the house to see where I need to cut the bird box to give me the right elevation. And then I gotta take a sawzall up here in this peak or not really peak, but to where this overhang doesn't line up with the other overhang. I gotta cut that off square, so I'm gonna do that first. Okay, so I know my elevation is four and a half inches down from this top plate. So I already made a mark here earlier this morning. And all you gotta do is take your square, put on that mark and square off side of the house. And uh, it looks like, all right, it's gonna be hitting right about where that overhang comes down and meets this overhang. So I'm just gonna cut it off square right there. And to get your square mark, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, if you haven't done it, you might not know. Just take a speed square. You don't got much of a lip to use, but it's okay. Just kind of square it off the uh, cut you already made when you cut the overhang straight. All right. And now you take your Sawzall. If you've been following this channel, you know I just got this uh, Sawzall in, uh, on a Black Friday deal with my rigid tool kit. Okay, so now we just got to take our Sawzall and cut that off square. All right, try to dress that up a little bit. Okay, now that we got that cut off, now what we gotta do, we gotta figure out our elevation that's gonna bring us out square to here, and then we gotta cut a pork chops, what some people call it, to fill this in, just like we did the other bird box. But we gotta go down and get some measurements and get a level. So here's where it gets a little tricky. If my elevation is right here at this mark I made already, what I gotta do is make a level line on the side of the house on that elevation. So I'm gonna put my level up here. That looks good. And let me move this out of the way for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark a level line across there. And now we're done with that for a second. And so this is just temporary, and what it's going to do is give us a straight edge or a straight um, board to go off of. So this more or less is going to act as if there was a board already in here at the right elevation, but we don't want this board to go out this far. So we're going to tack this in here. It's tight against the house. I'm just going to double check, make sure it's level. It looks really good there. Okay, and make sure it extends out far enough to get a measurement off this edge. So we're more or less just temporarily putting that on there to get the measurement to make this edge here. So let's go ahead and see how big of a pork chop we got to cut. So we're going to measure off the edge of the 2x4 that's the farthest away from the overhang. So we get a measurement here. Looks like we got about 5 inches. And this measurement here, looks like we got eight. So now we gotta cut a pork chop that's five inches by eight. And then we're gonna tack it on this overhang and then remove this temporary board. Okay, we got our piece cut. We're just gonna set it up here. And we're just gonna tack this bottom where it goes, about right in there. We're just gonna let that one nail hold that for now. 
If you want to double check to make sure your angle's right, you can just take a level, put it up there and see how level it is. Yep, looks good. Now what we're going to do is knock this temporary brace off. Whoa, almost lost it there. And now put it this way. Okay, now all we got to do is get the measurement to make this pork chop. All right, so here is our little pork chop we just cut. That would be your short measurement. That would be the long measurement. And this angle should be a long 712 because that is what the roof is, 712. So when the overhang comes down, it creates a long seven. Let's go test fit this thing and make sure it fits correctly. All right, let's just set it up there. Get the mud off of it first. And it looks... Looks pretty good. Okay, so... Just like the last one, we're just gonna tack a nail up here to hold it temporarily. Well, not really temporarily, we're gonna tack a nail to hold it permanently. But we're only gonna put one nail in it. Now, we're just gonna knock off this brace, or not really brace, but our temporary level board. And don't forget to punch those nails down through that board before you step on them. Okay, so now the trick here is we got to get boards to fill in this back corner without overlapping this side of the house because the rest of the overhangs are not going to overlap the side of the house. So, right, so I got both measurements. So what I'm going to do is pre-build the L shape that goes in here on the ground. And then I'm, I'm going to secure it to these pork chops. And again, it ain't the pork chops we all know and love and like to eat. It's the bird box pork chops. This is pretty straightforward. I'm just taking a piece of two by 10, cutting it into a couple pieces, and then making an L shape that's more or less half of a box, and then nailing it together. Now, what we need to do is we need to get holes in from this corner to the inside, because we're gonna set that up in where the bird box is, and then drive the screws into the side of the house to hold it, so we're gonna Drill this out because we don't want to risk cracking this because of all the work we put into it. So before I drop screws in it, I'm going to pre-drill it. So like I said, I want to make sure I go right into the corner. I'm just using a nail because I didn't have a drill bit with me. All right, now I'm going to take the uh, right angle drill off and I'll be installing the right angle impact. And where are my screws? Oh, do, 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 here they are. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-start the screws so that way I don't have to do that while I'm up in the air. Okay, as you can see here, we got some screws started. So we're gonna go set that up there and then impact them into the side of the house. Okay, so go ahead and just slide in position. So the key is make sure you're tight against this side and this side at the same time. Looks pretty good there. Okay. So now just fine tune that where it needs to be. So that's why I like to use two by tens because it runs clear up into the inside of this overhang so you can nail it out here. Just add some extra strength. Now just nail these edges. Okay, that's nice and sturdy. All right, that's sitting perfectly level there. So I'm gonna drive the rest of these screws in now. Now I'm going to go on this side and nail this off, but that's not going anywhere. I bet you didn't know there was that much work to something so simple. That double bird box will really test your patience, 
but it got done. That's all that matters. So I'm going to turn the camera up here to the bird box, show you what it looks like when it's finally done. All right. So if you can see here, looks like we got this all done and secured. I don't know if you can see inside the bird box with the sunlight, but we got several screws. I even popped a couple of nails in the bottom of it when it was all said and done. But that's all that is. It's really the same concept as a regular bird box, like I said, other than you just have a straight square. It's nothing uh, really complicated to look at, but to build it, it's kind of a pain in the, you know what, like everything else in construction. No, I'm just kidding. But if you look at the work conditions here, look at this mud. This morning when I came out here, it was all frozen and pretty. Now I got muddy boots. And if you look at my ladder, I mean, this ladder needs sprayed off now before I take it back in the house. I'm gonna get mud all over the place in there. So I gotta clean that up. And I'll show you what else I need to get done today. There is one more return or bird box, whatever you wanna call it, needs done. It's right up here. So you can see there is a ton of bird boxes on this house. So I would like to say, I got a little bit of experience with them by now, but if you look at this, this one needs done, but I gotta get my saws all up in here to cut that little part off because it's sticking over too much and I gotta put that plywood on right here first. And while we're talking about it, I'll show you my other overhang here that was similar to one we just built. So this is the other build bo bird box I built the other day. Double bird box is what I like to call them. But you can see, same concept. It's uh, really nothing too extraordinary, but that's all there is to it. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, comment below what it was. Okay guys, I'm gonna get off here because I got a lot of stuff I need to get done, but I appreciate you stopping by, I really do. And again, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.